Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the forced convection, the problems on external flow over a flat plate and over a cylinder. Okay, just now, now take the first problem, in the problem it is given that air at 40 degree Celsius flows over a flat plate of 0 0.8 meter long and at a velocity of 50 meter per second, right. So now just take the given length equal to 0 0.8 meter and velocity u equal to 50 meter per seconds. The plate surface is maintained at 300 degree Celsius. So, Tw equal to 300 degree Celsius. Determine the heat transferred from the entire length of the plate to the air taking into consideration both laminar and turbulent portion of the boundary layer. Also calculate the percentage error if the boundary layer is assumed to be turbulent nature from the leading edge of the plate. Okay. Now the another given data is T infinity. Air temperature is 40 degree Celsius. In the first line itself they gave you no know, air at 40 degree Celsius. So T infinity equal to 40 degree Celsius. So, so to find in the first case, they are asking you to find out the heat transfer Q if throughout the length of the plate, the flow is laminar turbulent combined flow. Okay, in the first case, just assume that laminar combined, laminar turbulent combined flow and find out the heat transfer value. In the second case, they are asking you to find out the percentage error if the boundary layer is assumed to be turbulent nature from the leading edge. So, it is Q, you are asked to find out the heat transfer if fully turbulent flow, fully turbulent flow. Right. So, after finding out this value, just find out the percentage error. Okay. Solution. Now, in the solution, the first step is to find out the film temperature Tf equal to Tw plus T infinity divided by 2. So, this is 40 plus 300 divided by 2. That is 340 divided by 2 equal to Tf equal to 170 degree Celsius. So, now from HMT data book page number 34 the properties of the gases is given. Under that the properties of dry air at various temperatures are given at 170 degree Celsius. Just take the values of density, parental number, kinematic viscosity and K value. The density value is 0 0.790 kilogram per meter cube and the kinematic viscosity is 31.1 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square divided by seconds and the K value equal to 0 0.037 watt per meter Kelvin and the Prandtl number is 0 0.6815. Okay. I told you, I told you how to take all these properties values from the take from the HMT data book from the last video itself. So the second step is to find out the Reynolds number value, right? Reynolds number R e equal to U L divided by nu. Substitute the value of U equal to 50 meter per second into length of the plate is 0 0.8 and the kinematic viscosity value is. 31.1 into 10 to the power minus 6. You will get the value as 1.28 into 10 to the power 6. So, this is greater than the 5 into 10 to the power 5. Right. So, now come to case 1. In case 1, you are asked to assume laminar turbulent combined flow. Laminar turbulent combined flow. Okay, take your data book and go to the page number 115, go to the page number 115 and here you can see 
the laminar turbulent combined flow in laminar turbulent combined flow just take the nusselt number equation here the nusselt number equation is given in section 1.5.2 nusselt number equation is equal to so just write down the nusselt number equation n u l equal to prandtl number power 0.333 within the bracket 0.037 Reynolds number power 0.8 minus 871, right? So just use this formula to find out the Nusselt number value. The Prandtl number is uh, 0.6815, 0.333, 0.037. The Reynolds number is 1.28 into 20 to the power 6. The whole power. 0.8 minus 871, right? So the value will be 1746.09. So now you know that Nusselt number equal to H L divided by K, which is equal to H into L is nothing but 0.8. K value is 0.037, which is equal to 1746.09. Just find out the H value. H value is 80.75 watt per meter square kelvin now you are asked to find out the heat transfer value so q equal to ha into tw minus t infinity here ha such value is 80.75 into area is nothing but your length into width here width value is wide value is not given so assume that w equal to 1 so length value is 0.8 into width value is 1 Into T W is 300. T infinity is 40. So the difference between 300 and 40 is 260. Now the value will be 16796 watts. Okay. Go to the second case, case two. Okay. In case two, you are asked to assume that the fully turbulent flow. For fully turbulent flow, just take the formula of Nusselt number from the data book. in the data book for fully turbulent flow page number 114 for flat plate turbulent flow the nusselt number equation is given here and the nusselt number equation is n u equal to 0.0296 reynolds number power 0.8 prandtl number power 0.33 okay So substitute all the values and find out the Nusselt number. The Nusselt number is equal to two zero one zero point one five. Now you know that this Nusselt number value is equal to H L divided by K. From this equation, find out the H value. H value is ninety two point nine six watt per meter squared Kelvin. Okay. Now you know the H value. Now find out the Q value. H A into T W minus T infinity. So H is 92.96. Area is 0.8 into 1. T W minus T infinity is 260. Now you can find out the Q2 value as here you can set Q2. Since it is case two, this is Q2. Q2 is 24169.6. So in case three, just find out the value of percentage error. The percentage error is nothing but the difference between the value of heat transfer in case one and case two. That is Q two minus Q one divided by Q one. Here you have to substitute only Q one because whenever you find you are asked to find out the percentage error in the denominator, you just substitute the initial value. Here the initial value is Q one. So if you substitute Q2, Q1, Q1 values, you will get the error as 43.90 percentage. Okay, that's all. Now we are going to see the problems on external flow over cylinder. So flow over cylinder. Now go to the problem. Air at 15 degrees Celsius and 30 kilometer per hour. So air temperature is T infinity equal to 15 degree Celsius, which is equal to 288 Kelvin, and the velocity is 30 kilometer per hour. It can be 
converted into meter per seconds 8.33 meter per seconds okay and this air flows over a cylinder of 400 mm diameter and 1500 mm height so diameter d equal to 0.4 meter and length equal to 1.5 meter okay with a surface temperature of 45 degrees celsius and calculate the heat loss surface temperature tw equal to 45 degrees celsius and find the heat loss value q okay solution now the first step you have to find out the film temperature tf tf equal to tw plus t infinity divided by 2 which is equal to 30 degrees celsius now at 30 degrees celsius from data book properties rho kinematic viscosity thermal conductivity Prandtl number values has to be taken from the page number 34 right so the Prandtl number is 0 0.701 it is 1.165 kg per meter cube and the kinematic viscosity is 16 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square per seconds um, k value is 0 0.02675 watt per meter kelvin okay now we know that the next step is to find out the reynolds number value now the problem is given as cylinder so you should substitute this ud divided by nu instead of l you have to substitute the diameter now we can find out the reynolds number as 2.08 into 10 to the power 5 which is less than the 5 into 10 to the power 5 so the flow is laminar now go to the page number 116 here in page number 116 you, you can find out the flow over cylinders under that a table is given in the table you can find out the Nusselt number equation so n u equal to c into r e power m into p r power 0 0.333 now the value of m and c can be taken from this table according to the Reynolds number. So, Reynolds number is 2 into 20 to the power 5. So, it will come in this range 40,000 to 4 lakh and it will become in this range. So, c is nothing but you are 0 0.0266 into Reynolds number power m value is 0 0.805 into Prandtl number power 0 0.333. Now substitute, now substitute the Reynolds number and the Prandtl number value. You can find out the Nusselt number as NU equal to 451.3. You know that NU equal to HL divided by K. Since it is a cylinder, you have to substitute HD divided by K, right? HD from HD divided by K, you can find out the H value as 30.18 watt per meter square Kelvin. Now from this equation Q equal to HA into TW minus T infinity. Substitute all the values you can find out the Q heat transfer value as 1706.6 watts. Okay. This is your final answer and in the next video we will see the problems on forced convection internal flow okay thank you for watching the video